Hey everybody, welcome back to A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and today we're going to be talking all the geeky stuff I acquired in the terrible month of March. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and yeah, another haul video. What a strange month, what a strange time to be living in, right, as of this video. Uh, I hope everybody's doing safe, everybody uh, is doing well, keeping yourselves occupied and healthy. Uh, I didn't pick up too many items, of course I got some delayed packages, but not because of the current situation, instead... Um, when I made the order, instead of them shipping things out as they were coming out, they they decided to wait and group everything together to the last second, so now I'm still waiting for some packages. So you'll see them eventually, but I do have some pretty cool stuff here that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, if you have not tuned into my channel before, I do uh, weekly content on books, uh, shows, and comics, and all that stuff, uh, specifically manga and graphic novels. Uh, do some reviews and just uh, geek out over cool stuff that we all like, right? <laughs> so in these haul videos, I like to mention all the stuff I got and if you want me to review a specific product that I'm going to show you guys, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll add it to the list and I'll get to it as soon as humanly possible. Speaking of possible, uh, a couple like I want to say two months ago, I did a review on Magical Girl Apocalypse, uh, sort of manga first impressions, and uh, I was intrigued a lot. I read the first six, seven volumes, so I went ahead and picked up uh, the rest of the series. Uh, last haul, I showed you two of the books, and over here I got a bunch more. I am missing one because that is stuck with that late package that I just mentioned. So yeah, uh, here is volume 11 of Magical Girl Apocalypse. Uh, here is volume 13. So yeah, I'm missing volume 12. Uh, 14 right here, which looks really interesting. Can't wait to find out what's happening. Here's volume 15 of the series. And the final one, volume 16. Cannot wait to dig into this series uh, once again and do a proper series review because I did receive a lot of comments on my previous video uh, like, oh, keep reading because it does get better and, and I'm interested in your final opinions and I'm excited too. I want to check it out. I, I was impressed at how zany and wacky the series got. It went from zombies to time travel and then friggin' giant mutated creatures. I, I don't technically know what I read. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be reviewing the rest of the series. Uh, volume um, volume 12, sorry. It will be arriving shortly, so I can... Uh, I'm waiting for that to get started on the series again. So there's all the spines lined up. A uh, little Shonen Jump action from Viz Media. I got Demon Slayer Volume 11. Here we have Dr. Stone Volume 10. I also picked up from uh, Seven Seas Entertainment as well, uh, The Ancient Magus Bride, Volume 12. Technically, the series hasn't ended in Japan, but this is the latest volume over there and now over here as well. So I got uh, this and I can sort of say it's completed, quote unquote. I also got this bad boy, Berserk Deluxe Edition, Volume 4, collecting uh, the, as you can see here, of the smaller volumes, collecting volume uh, 10, 11, and 12. So I just know that people that are reading this for the very first time, they're going to be in for a treat and they're going to be shocked by the end of it and will not wait for volume 5 because the cliffhanger is epic, of epic proportions, as, as I like to say. So they're going to be uh, looking for volume 13. <laughs> But if you want to wait, it's going to be worth it because, yeah, uh, the finale of the Golden Age arc is something to behold. Uh, so, yeah, Berserk Volume 4. Anime was just one Blu ray. I got the second Eureka 7 High Evolution film, Anemone. And this is pretty cool. I thought it was just going to be a regular old Blu ray, but it comes in a slip or like a little 
box slip cover, I guess, and the regular slip cover. So here's the actual uh, movie. I always flip the inside artwork if it's reversible. And there's the back right there. And again, I had no idea. This comes with, what does it say again? A mini shikishi with character art inside, which came like this. Super glossy right there. Cut this open and inside we get character artwork from the movie, which is really awesome, of course. Uh, from, yeah, look at that. That's really cool. I don't know if these are supposed to be rare or not, but this is the first time I even own a shikishi. So I'm really excited about that. That that looks fantastic. I think there was another one with uh, one of the mech designs. So I much prefer this. I, I like getting uh, like the character designs and stuff. So yeah, there's Eureka and Anemone. Longtime viewers are probably asking, Geo, where's the comics? Where are the comic books? I know. <laughs> I've been on a super strict budget, and these were mostly pre-orders. However, I do have something really cool that uh, arrived in the mail. I have to give a massive shout out to my friend Josh, because, uh, man, I am not worthy at all, and this surprised the hell out of me. Uh, I, you know, I've been so lucky in life to meet such wonderful people, and it's always a surprise, and it baffles me that uh, people, you know, they do this, and Josh is a great guy, he's a good friend, and he was uh, ticked off on the last haul where I mentioned that I don't own any Hulk books. Right there with the Immortal Hulk uh, oversized hardcover, that was, I think that's my first ever Hulk book that I own. I've read stories, but I don't own any Hulk books because, you know, space is limited. Josh went out of his way and sent me this. This is the Incredible Hulk by Peter David Omnibus Volume 1. Brand new, brand spanking new. Man, I'm... I cannot thank you enough, bro. I mean, this is just so awesome. And I've already started reading some of the stuff in here, and it's it's great. I love Peter David. This Supergirl stuff is great. His Aquaman run is legendary, one of my all-time favorites. And I've never read his Hulk material, so I'm really excited to dive in and just uh, check this out. You know, you've, uh, I'm not a good overviewer. You've seen videos about this book, so I don't need to uh, show you every single page, I guess. But, man, this is so awesome. Here's a cool fight between the Thing and Hulk. So, yeah. Uh, I'm honored. Uh, this is incredible. Thank you so much, man. I, You didn't have to do this, and... I, I am a lucky SOB, uh, because I... I meet such wonderful people, and they care. I, I, I've, I never, um, I don't want to leave off with a bad impression, but I've never asked for anything. I just uh, do these videos and, and like to geek out and spread the word about stuff. And along the way, you form these awesome relationships with people, with friends, and yeah, that's, um, that's really cool. Uh, thank you so much. I, I really, uh, I really do appreciate it. I think since last October, I've been uh, cutting back on the hauls. You know, sometimes like, hey, Christmas comes around and you pick you pick up a, a bunch of crap you don't need. But for the most part, uh, shelves are full, and I have a huge backlog, and I want to. <laughs> Aside from read these things, and I, I want to do other stuff uh, with my time. Uh, but that's never going to slow down this channel. I will always post stuff uh, on a regular basis here. I've been trying since summer of 2019 to keep a consistent schedule of at least a video per week. Uh, lately, with the current situation, the world climate and all that stuff, I've been trying to put out as much content as possible so that I can entertain you guys in these uh, difficult times. And 
um, yeah, things uh, get a little rough sometimes, so I don't, uh, I'm not picking up as much as in previous hauls or videos. Uh, so I will try to do more haul videos, but I won't guarantee it because uh, I'm just not getting a whole ton of stuff. So I don't want to do like, hey, here's a haul video. I got this. That's it. Goodbye, everybody. You, I know that you guys like looking at like the massive hauls and stuff. So I get it because I watch that stuff too, and I enjoy when I see my favorite YouTubers with huge epic uh, hauls. So, yeah, <laughs> that's sort of what's been going on. But yeah, it is going to continue from here on out uh, for the foreseeable future. But I, uh, it doesn't matter, right? Who am I kidding? What matters is getting uh, content for you guys and reviewing stuff and uh, hopefully working on some video essays that I talked about previously that I want to get out there. It's something I want to take a crack at because I love doing that stuff. I've already done like two or three of them and I really enjoyed writing those things and recording and doing overlays and stuff and it looks so nice and I, I like it. Uh, it gives you a, the opportunity to uh, flex your muscle, your brain muscle, I guess. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, short but sweet haul, I would, I would like to think. Uh, manga, anime, and of course, this massive omnibus. So thank you, Josh, once again. You are the true MVP, son. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Uh, for everybody uh, watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being a part of A Week in Geekdom. As always, hit the bell icon so you know when new videos pop up and you don't miss a single one. Uh, follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next review.